Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington. So today I'm doing the review of my Randall RD45. This is a 45 watt tube amp. This thing is a monster. Now, um, in comparison to my Jet City, which is right above, um, this has a designated clean channel and distortion channel where the Jet City is just a crunch and clean. And I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this clean channel and just listening to it is amazing. It's got that kind of just fullness that I really like from my cleans. If I want, I can push it a little by giving it, it has a boost option that works for both the gain and clean channel. What I like to do is use the uh, Gibson SG and split the coils, do the middle position, and it's got a very nice like stratty tone. Now it doesn't get super gainy on the clean channel, you can get kind of like a push clean if you turn the gain all the way up, but not really gainy, which is what I like. I, I like a clean channel, not a crunch channel. Um, if I want, I can add an overdrive. Instant crunch channel. But, for the most part, I just like to leave it clean. Um, the, the amp shares a 3-band EQ between both channels and a presence control. Now the distortion channel, which is what I'm on now, has its own separate designated volume. So you can turn the master down and just kind of really push the gain's volume and you can get a little bit more out of the tubes. Without the boost on, if you add the boost, it gives it more high end and it kind of tightens it up. Now what's cool about this amp is you don't have to crank the gain to get that really just... ...saturatedness with uh, the punch, or with the boost switch on. Even with off, it's... Uh, without the boost, it's got a very good like you feel like a really cool like groove metal band tone, but you add that boost and it's perfect for any sort of metal. <laughs>
on. This is a beast of an amp. I'm really digging it. I was going to go with the RD20, um, but this just came up at a price I couldn't uh, refuse. And 45 watts, I have no problem playing over a drummer. <laughs> It does have a speaker defeat and MX or XLR extension in the output for silent recording. Um, I haven't tested that feature out. I might do an, a video where I just do just that, maybe record something with it. I think that'd be kind of cool. But just the tone of this amp um, is amazing. My friend recommended it to me, and I'm really glad I got it. Now if you put the boost on, and then put an overdrive, so this is just the boost. This is with an overdrive pedal through it. So it doesn't add a whole lot, but it just kind of just boosts it. Um, this thing runs with um, 6L6s in it and 12 ax It's a pretty good amp. Um, used they run, I've seen them as low as $340. I paid a little more than that. Um, with shipping, I paid about $400. And new, I think they're $600. Pretty good amp. Really good if you like metal, really good if you like rock. I recommend checking these out. This is Jack Punkington signing out. Peace, guys.